fire sign, you're up. How you doing today? Welcome in. This is a little bit of a blue moon, uh, blue moon reading for you guys. Sag, Aries, Leo. Feel free to swap around the characters. It's not going to resonate for every single fire sign, but if it does, there's an extended. Uh, put the link below if you want to continue on with me. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher, so just so you know. Okay, let's see where we go. <sighs> Going to be doing a live with Sonia of the Illust Illuminator Twin Flame reading noon on Friday. I'm also going to be posting my uh, end of year forecast for Twin Flame. It's going to be one big video, all zodiac signs on Vimeo. So I'll post that during the live tomorrow or on Friday whenever you're watching this. <laughs> breaking trail, fire signs, breaking trail. Ascending the mountain. Gates of triumph. Wow. Success expands in your life. So uh, something that you've started, something that you started a while ago is, and you're working on now, is coming into a lot of abundance showing up for you. Okay. Um, I feel like if you put in the time and effort and energy, luck and success abundance are created by that the energy of the powerful energy of that this blue moon is a very uh it's in taurus and it's blue moons are notoriously great at healing and releasing but also at attracting um abundance luck this is adventuring i bought this recently and it's one of the stones it's very very uh good at attracting abundance so you might want to check that out you're on your way to um, attracting something that is going to be very powerful in terms of luck. Luck, success, abundance, especially if it's heart-driven, right? This is in the shape of a heart, this adventuring, especially if it's in from your heart, right? So it's a, it's a passion project. It's something that is on your spiritual path, okay? We are going to be doing some... Um, some spiritual business classes in November and December, the beginners one where you kind of hone in on the idea of what you want to create. All those links are below. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag. Chewing loudly. All right. There's luck. All right. Luck coming in. Wheel of Fortune. There's tower here, and here's Taurus energy, okay? So we're in this uh, full moon in Taurus. It's going to bring in some kind of breakthrough, right? So you have been doing, you've had a breakthrough, and you're moving things forward in alignment with your soul's purpose. There's now, because Uranus is still in retrograde, and also Uranus is in, is in aspect to this uh, full moon. So you're going to find that there's going to be something surprising showing up for you. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Wow. Uh, Virgo energy of the Knight of Pentacles. Look at all this earth energy. Devil, Capricorn, Ten of Swords, Three of Cups. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the karmic witch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch, oh witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Something like that. You're gone where the goblins go below, below, below. King of Wands, hello. Isn't that funny? Six of Pentacles, Empress. Look at you. Okay, so you are now in balance. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Taurus, Libra, Pisces. I see um, for some of you, um, you've created something very powerful financially, spiritually, like a, a, on your spiritual path. You've created a financial, some financial stability. King of Pentacles, not small either. It's coming in and you're no longer stuck in it. Okay. You're no longer stuck in the energy of when's money coming in. Oh my God. How am I going to make the rent this month? Oh my goodness. How am I going to do that? Woo. Over there, Charlie. <laughs> how am I going to deal with it? This is going to be very uh, celebratory for you. Very happy. Happy energy here of abundance coming in. Good luck. 
there's good luck. Suddenly, suddenly something's showing up. Let me clarify that. You're no longer stuck. King of Cups, or sorry, Knight of Cups, Three of Wands, King of Cups. Did I just say King of Cups? Yes, I did. Temperance, Ace of Swords. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Something about Dorothy, because I'm, I'm singing the Wizard of Oz this morning a lot, and especially in this reading, I'm feeling a lot of the, you are getting unstuck from a long pattern, a long held pattern, long held belief system around money. Because what you have been doing and manifesting in your highest vibration, what you've been working on is going to suddenly show uh, a lot of abundance coming in. And you're going to be like, wow, that's amazing. So stable, so awesome. I'm no longer in this weird place of lack. I'm no longer in lack mentality. And what's happening is it's creating love. Love is coming in because of that. Knight of Cups, Three of Wands, King of Cups coming in because you're balanced out with your money. All right, something like that. Sagittarian energy and the Ace of Swords. You're balanced out. Wow. Right? Six of Pentacles. You're balanced out. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Like I said, I see Taurus and Capricorn and Virgo here. King of Pentacles. This person has been learning new things. If you're dealing with a, an Earth sign. Okay, this is for love. Page of Pentacles. Yes, Judgment. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, Lovers, Three of Pentacles. So it's almost like because you are balanced out in your money, this person can now show up in your life. They've always been balanced in their money. All right, there's something about that. The give and take is equalizing. And it's creating this, you know, because abundance can be anything. It doesn't have to be um, physical dollars or anything like that. It can be creating you know, adventure, freedom, time, wisdom, um, ideas, abundance is ever encompasses everything. So it, this particular thing, it looks like you're freeing yourself from some kind of lack mentality. Okay. Some kind of lack mentality is going away. All right. You're seeing it now you're seeing it. And this past life soulmate is coming in in order for you to choose a different path. You guys are working together. This is mission working together. You can be working together on something because you've balanced your money. Now this person feels energetically safer to come toward you. Yes. Taking bold action. Ace of wands, passionate action. Nine of wands, eight of cups. All right. The old way that this was, the old way that this relationship was, was configured, and this can be just in general, it doesn't have to be a specific person, although you're going to see that this is how this is plays out with a specific person, that your mindset around money has really pushed love away because it's the, it's the, it's the energy of lack. I don't have something. Just like when you're trying to manifest love, well, that means I don't have it in my life, something like that. When you are in union with self, you have love in your life, okay? It comes from you. And so that's when love can show up, okay? That's the easiest, fastest way for love to show up in your life is to love yourself. And same thing goes with money. To be balanced in your money, to not have the energy of fear or lack around it is the fastest way for money to show up in your life, okay? So abundance in all things are showing up. Wow, this is big. You've moved off of lack mentality. Good for you. Good job. All right. Okay. I'm going to continue on with this reading. Um, I am going to look at earth signs, earth signs here. There's you taking passionate action here, moving away from your baggage. Uh, the person coming in can be a water sign, but I feel like it's more about, um, it's more about love, like temperance, the um, Archangel Michael bringing this person in because your truth is no longer about lack mentality. Good job. Woo, good job. All right, something about Dorothy. It's always been in your own backyard, right? Love is inside you. This is an inside game. This is not about you seeking out anything. 
abundance is here in all ways, shapes, or, shapes and forms. Okay? All right. I'm going to continue on with this reading. If it resonated for you, the link is below. See you over there.